Good morning, everyone, and welcome to a nine to five workday in my life. I actually work eight to three in the office and three to five at home on social media, but hey, who's counting? I start off with a coffee as usual. I turn on the Christmas tree and I cuddle my sweet cat, Vinny, because she's super cuddly in the morning. I chill on the couch for a few minutes before it's time to get dressed and get ready for the day. Good morning guys, welcome back. My name is Rachel, if you're new. I'm wearing this awesome shirt from Princess Polly. I'm freaking obsessed with it. It glows in the sunlight and it's like shimmery and soft. I'll link it down below for you guys. And then I'm just wearing my high-waisted Banana Republic slacks. I like that I'm matching the Christmas tree. It's such a vibe. It's like 7.20 and I need to make my breakfast. Um, if you're new here, I usually eat my breakfast at work, so I am going to make it and get it ready. And something fun is that I've been doing avocado toast. So what I do is I pre-toast two slices of bread and I wrap them up and I bring them toasted already to work because we don't have like a quick and easy toaster at work. We have a toaster oven, but it just takes too long. So I just like to pre-toast my bread and wrap it up and bring it. And then I also bring an entire avocado. <laughs> and whenever I'm ready to have my breakfast, I just cut it up and I make it at work. That way I don't have to transport it and it gets all brown and mushy. So I guess I just wanna encourage you, like if you feel like you can't make yourself a healthy breakfast, you can. If I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> I am laughing because it's just so funny that I'm doing this. I just think it's hilarious that I am going through the effort to make avocado toast. I think I'm going to take a banana because we have those. I always turn down, or I'm sorry, uh, no, I turn it up. I turn up the thermostat whenever I leave the house. So I'm going to put it to 77 because we sleep with it at 75 because don't you like it colder at night? I like to turn my um, my back wipers on because it's so like foggy in the morning and it's so satisfying. <laughs> it's also 68, which is a little bit chilly, so I usually turn on the heat. By the time I'm like halfway there, it's fine. It does get a little bit chilly in the mornings here in Florida. I like to listen to worship music in the mornings because it just helps me get in the right mindset and I usually pray and I set my intention for the day. I pray that I will have a productive day, that I'll be in a good mood and no matter what happens, I be the best that I can be. So even if something triggers me at work or I don't feel motivated or I feel lazy, I pray that I will have the motivation or the discipline to just push through and keep going and be the best that I can be regardless of what's going on around me. So I'm like such a loser. I don't have Spotify. AJ has it, but I don't have it and I don't feel like paying for it. So I just use Pandora like a, like a middle schooler. That's what I do. My favorite, oh my gosh. But how cute is this water bottle? It matches my shirt. <coughs> I work for my family's natural stone company. We install stone in new construction high-rise projects. I get to work and the first thing I do is check my emails and then make a to-do list. And by that time, it's around 8.45 and I'm hungry. So I go ahead and make and eat my avocado toast. And then I get started on my to-do list. Today, I am reconciling some credit cards, just making sure that I have all the receipts and that there's no fraud and that everything looks good. I'm also taking a look at our insurance renewal, which is coming up and making sure that everything looks good for that and preparing to wire over the money to pay all of our insurance premiums. Okay guys, it is 11.15 and I am wrapping up my morning work. I'm gonna go get some lunch. Today was more of an admin day, so I'm doing like accounting work, things like that. And I honestly, kind of miss this kind of work. Over the past year, I've been transitioning more to project work, and so it's nice when I have days where I do admin work and accounting stuff, because I do enjoy it, and it just makes me realize that I miss that kind of work. So 
I'm going to use a green highlighter because my colors are green today. So I'm going to cross off the credit cards, the open emails. I started the insurance renewal, but I didn't finish. So I'm just going to finish that this afternoon. So this is what my to-do list looks like. I'm going to try to do, well, I have to. I don't have a choice. I'm going to finish the other two circle things. So I have to do a wire transfer and I have to do my calendar and then finish the insurance renewal. So that being said, I'm going to go get some lunch. Okay, I just picked up my lunch and I'm not even hungry yet, but I like to beat the lunch rush because if I wait until 12 or even 12.30, then the restaurants are packed. You have to wait like 45 minutes to get your food. And so I just like to be the early bird, get my food first, get in, get out. That's my vibe. <laughs> um, I just got a tuna salad sandwich with chips on the side. Every now and then I have like a weird craving for tuna. It's got a lot of protein and it's just a good... It's one of those good staple lunches that just can't go wrong. These are the chips that it comes with. It's just basic chips. What are they called? Original chips. <laughs> this is huge. This is what my tuna sandwich looks like. It's freaking huge and I'm actually so excited to eat this. Okay, I just finished my lunch and this is usually when the afternoon slump hits me. It hits me right after I eat lunch. Like, I'd like to say that it takes until 2 or 3 o'clock, but right after lunch, I'm feeling like, oh. I get tired and I just don't want to work anymore. So I'm going to tell you some things that help me. One of the things that I love to do is to drink some kind of drink that makes you happy. And today I'm drinking my water drop drinks in my new water drop bottle, which is so cute. I like to thank them for working with me in today's video. Water drop is the real taste of natural fruits and plants to enhance the best drink in the world, which is pure drinking water. So it comes in this little pack. All you have to do is take one out. You have your water bottle here and you pour it in. So it dissolves in your water and my favorite flavor is this one called Focus. This tastes like I took a lime and I squeezed a lime into my drink. So it's not overpowering at all. It really is natural fruits. There's no sugar. It's gluten-free. It's vegan. We all know that for people like you and me, it's hard for us to keep fresh fruits and vegetables on hand. And so that's where Water Drop comes in. And they also have the caffeine version. So they have a couple of different ones that actually have caffeine in them this one has 60 milligrams you guys know I've been trying to eat healthier drink more water and water drop really helps me do that especially in the afternoon when I don't feel like working sometimes I will use the energy one sometimes I'll do the fruit ones it just depends on my mood when I need a little bit more pick-me-up I'll do the caffeine ones what's cool is that they collect and recycle one ocean bound plastic bottle for every pack they sell which means they extract four times more plastic from nature than they use which is insane so make sure to check out water drop in the link down below you can get 15% off by using my code Rachel V 15 and it's valid until December 30th so make sure to check them out they honestly make drinking water so much more enjoyable and attainable okay another thing that helps me get over my afternoon slump is by raising my standing desk now I'm about to do that, but if you don't have a standing desk, then no worries. You can get up and walk around, walk around your office, walk around your off, uh, your warehouse, wherever you are. Get your blood pumping, guys, because the only way to combat the afternoon sleepiness is either with caffeine or movement. So do your little stretches stand up go for a walk and you will feel a little bit better i can't guarantee that you'll feel amazing but you'll feel a little bit better and you won't be falling asleep Guess what? It's time to go home. It's three o'clock and I am logging out, closing all my emails so that tomorrow I wake up to a clear browser and I don't have like 
things popping up. I like to have nothing on my desktop when I come in the morning. Sorry, I'm just excited that the day is over. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Okay, I just got home from work. I changed into just some athletic shorts and a t-shirt as I normally do. I'm nice and oily as I normally am. Basically, I stop work at three at my office job and I work three to five from home on my social media job, YouTube, podcast, things like that. And I really like this split schedule. I think it's really beneficial for me and I'm enjoying it so far. So it's 3.20. Luckily, I live fairly close to work. I'm going to do some work. AJ's here. He's working on stocks, as you guys know. But he keeps it really dark in here. So I'm going to open the blinds a little bit. So his desk is over here and then my desk is over here. But we got this printer, we finally got one. It's by HP, I'll link it down below. I love it. It's It like lights up over here as well when you turn it on. And yeah, if you're looking for a good printer, this one's pretty affordable. And I just like that it is white and it's like pretty, pretty. <laughs> Okay, so what I normally do during this time is I either edit a video, I edit a podcast, or I do something like film a video or something related to my social media business. Now today it's going to be editing the podcast that Anna and I recorded two nights ago. So I'm going to do that. Yeah, basically I will work until 5 or 5.15. I try to push myself to be somewhat productive up until that point. Babe! Where'd he go? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna contemplate. Contemplate? Yeah. What? Have you guys seen that TikTok thing where you try to make a um, perpendicular, perpendicular lines? How do you do it? Like that. For example, we could do Rome. Uh huh. Kind of like Mapiful. The hell is that? That's what we have in here. That's what we have right there. But but those look cooler. I don't even know what that is. To be we put we put Rome, Florence, Venice, Las Vegas, San Diego. Well, you've never yeah you have San Diego. That's you know? too many. <laughs> what Bangkok? We got a lot of good questions for our Q and A. For what? For our Q&A this weekend that we're filming together. <laughs> what do you mean? We're filming a Q&A together. Um, everyone wants to know what does AJ stand for. Oh. We're not going to tell you. <laughs> How much he love you. <laughs> okay, we're about to go on a walk. We've been enjoying walks lately. I'm just wearing my Amazon shorts. I absolutely, I absolutely love these. They're always linked in my Amazon store. And then this shirt is actually AJ's old t-shirt from American Eagle and I'm kind of matching mm. and then I'm wearing my white Nikes sometimes the only physical activity that I can realistically get in is going on a walk and that's okay how do I turn this on okay we walked 1.8 or 1.9 miles I don't have an Apple watch so you're just gonna have to take my word for it okay we are picking up some chicken parmesan sandwiches from this Italian place near our house and yeah, that's just reality. It's Thursday, I don't think I said that, but towards the end of the week, we run out of HelloFresh, we run out of groceries, and so yeah, this is real life, baby. Look how good these look. Oh my gosh. I did not know it came with fries though. That's not for you. That's not for you. <clears throat> Okay, we just finished dinner. I'm so full. I asked you guys on my Instagram if you had any questions for me about work, my job, things like that. And I have a bunch that I just wanna quickly go through. Am I in the background? No. If you weren't in the family business, what would you do? This is a great question because I have no freaking idea at one point i wanted to be a lawyer but then i realized in college that that wasn't really what i wanted i probably would have interned at one of the companies that came to the job fair at my school and i probably would have just interned and then started working at some company i don't know what though <laughs> How to behave when you and your partner work at the same company. So if you don't know, AJ used to work for my family's business. He actually just stopped working there two months ago. So he's been working there with me for like three years. Just act normal, act like coworkers. Don't be all lovey-dovey at work. Don't do the whole PDA. 
don't call each other babe at work just be professional and treat them like any other person and then yeah if you want to have lunch with them that's different but during work hours and in public settings just treat them the same to avoid awkwardness between you and other people everyone's just much more comfortable if you treat them like they're not your spouse jenna said choose one work outfit to wear for the rest of your life honestly i would probably choose a pair of jeans just because jeans are so versatile and then i would choose like a neutral top maybe like a white button down with a beige blazer. I don't know, that's a weird question. <laughs> Do you like your work hours? Um, yes, like I said, I really enjoy this new schedule where I work eight to three in the office and then three to five for myself. I'm so grateful that I can do that and I, it's just such a blessing. Yeah, I, I'm obsessed with it. Do you ever feel like the work never ends? Yes, absolutely. Work is hard and work is tiring. Most of us will have to work for the next 40 years until we can save up enough money to retire. That's just the way the world works and I think the sooner we accept it, the sooner we can be at peace with it and move on mentally from that and then learn to cherish the meaningful moments of life. Does your brother also work for the family business? No. So I have one older brother. He's 28 and he is in his dermatology residency. So he is following after my mom's footsteps. He's going to be working with her once he graduates in the dermatology space. So I'm working with my dad and my brother's working with my mom. But as you guys know, my mom's office is opening very soon so i am going to be working for her too i'll have to see where i squeeze that into my schedule but i will be present at her office i'm going to be doing mainly accounting and bookkeeping and managerial administration tasks <laughs> selena asked why do you work lljk but at what point do you think you'll quit working for youtube so i say this all the time but i am the type of person who likes to be busy i don't think i would thrive if i just quit all my jobs and I don't even know like what would I even film I don't even know like how would I even vlog what would I even say and I know it's possible I just I'm so like in that work mode where I can't even imagine a life without work I think I made a really good move for myself by reducing my hours I think that has satisfied that desire of me to work less or quit my job I, I don't have the desire to quit altogether but I'm really happy with reducing my hours and I think that's a good first step and then who knows where the future leads I'm not gonna say yes or no one way or the other only God knows how do you remain focused for eight hours and beyond I don't I think it's impossible at least for me I cannot do that that's also one of the reasons why I decided to stop work at three because the hours after lunch it's like a slow decline i just get worse and worse and worse and by five o'clock my brain was mush don't talk to me i was irritable i feel like that's normal so don't feel like you are doing something wrong because you're not being focused for eight straight hours you're doing fine it's normal i don't really have any advice like i struggle with it too and then a lot of questions about boredom i don't know i don't know what the solution is you if you're bored at work you probably need more work and if you're in a job where there's no more work like let's say you're just a person who answers phones and if the phones don't ring there's no more work like that's all you do uh, i don't know see if you can like take us take a course take a college course listen to lectures watch youtube watch tv read a book if you can um but other than that i do not have an answer if you have an answer let us know down below because we need answers uh working for your dad means that this company will be yours someday again i don't know what the future holds um at the moment i can't see myself right now running the company it's super stressful and there's so much going on like I get overwhelmed just thinking about being in that position where I would have to be in charge because you guys it is so much and props to my dad for managing it all he is a rock star but it is really stressful and who knows maybe in like 15 years I'll be so much more experienced and I'll feel more comfortable transitioning into that role but as of right now it's overwhelming and 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay? How to survive an 8 to 5 job and stay fit and healthy. Girl, you and I are on the same page here. We're all just trying to figure it out. We're all just doing our best. What I implemented into my life was working out twice a week. So I do once on the weekends and at least once during the week. And if I can do more workouts during the week, that's great. But set realistic goals. You don't have to be at the gym every day. Start with once a week, then increase to two. Start with one healthy meal a day and then increase to two. Start slow and it's okay if it takes you longer than you think to adapt to the new lifestyle. Cause it's a big change. What are you doing, Minnie? Come here. Say hi to the vlog. Say hi to the vlog. And lastly, how do you deal with toxic coworkers? Luckily, I don't have any coworkers that I would consider toxic, but I do have some coworkers that our personalities don't like vibe, if you know what I mean. I would say limit your interaction with that person as much as possible, remove yourself from their presence, and if that's not possible, then involve other people. So CC your coworkers or their manager on an email that you need them to respond to, and you'll notice that just the presence of someone else in the, vic in the vicinity will make that person act normal and stop being ridiculous if they were being ridiculous. Like I do this all the time. I just copy random people like in our office just so that everybody knows what's going on and everybody can hold that person accountable. Like it's just so funny. You copy everyone and then in, as you're walking through the office, they're gonna be like, hey Rachel, did that guy send you that thing that you needed? I saw that you copied me on the email and I'll be like, no, he hasn't gotten it to me yet. Can you believe it? You know, and people will talk and we need accountability in our lives and especially in the workplace. So, so I am about to take a shower. I am not washing my hair today. Um, I've been washing it every three days and it's been working for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I haven't done one of these in so long and I forgot how fun they are. So let me know if you liked it. Give this video a thumbs up. We are about to watch Survivor or watching the newest season. Comment down below if you're watching Survivor because this season is so different and good. I thought I wouldn't like it, but I actually like it and it's really dramatic and I love it. I post every Monday and Thursday and my podcast comes out on Saturday. So you're always getting content from me. Make sure to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, follow the podcast, turn on your bell notifications, comment on this video, like this video, and I will appreciate that. Thank you very much. Bye.